Alright, this is for you, Jake. I was gonna make a video tomorrow, but I might as well do it today since I have nothing to do right now. I'm about to put a, go to bed. Um, here's where I keep most of my tools in this area of the garage. I have my drill press right there, belts um, inside the box. There's, I don't know, it's in here. Oh, sanding stuff. Um, some welding gloves and drill bits. And, uh, have, I think I have my drum sanding bit for the drill press in there. Put a little apple thing on it because why not? My extension cord, torch in there, sharpening belt, the belt banner that I need to put together. Um, I haven't put it together because I don't have a motor for it. So once I get more money, I'll build that. My porta band down there. I want my 30 hidden back there. I use that for uh, uh, hogging off everything and you know getting the bevel started and then I take it to my 2x36 and um, uh, then I finish the bevels with that but 1x30 back there is just a little workhorse. I have a bunch of gun stuff here, polishing stuff and you get belt grinder parts. There's another box in there with more stuff. More than the, box of 36 grit belts. Um, I should have got 60 grit, but um, I got 36 grit. Uh, next time I'm getting 36. Next time I'm getting 60 grit because these seem too aggressive for knife making, for grinding out uh, knife blades. So I'll probably get um, 36 grit. Uh, not bad for 36. I'll probably get 60 grit on that. Let's just see. I'll just chew off stuff. That's all. Um, I just have one of these belts for before I got new. No grit left. So I got uh, a bunch of new ones. It was actually five belts that I split into ten. Um, I split two inch wide belts because I made the platinum like that so I can so it helps with tracking because this machine isn't really good at tracking. So yeah, it's easy, it's easy to track it a little bit over this way than you know track the whole entire belt. Um, so I got eighty. 100, 150, oh, 120, 150, and 220, and then I do everything else by hand. And here's the knife straight out of a uh, 220 grit. It looks pretty good, but I'm gonna hand rub these. I even round up the clip. The the handle I'll do the after I put um, handles on there. But not bad. Um, I know one of these are mine. And this one's going to be mine because it's a little longer than the rest. I don't worry about that little mark. I'll, it's, I don't know. I can't, I can't feel it or anything. So it's probably just a... Probably, just probably a, I'll get it out while I hand sand it because I finished it off with a, a soft sanding stick when I'm finished with when I'm doing the finished grips. Oh shit, but I came off. One minute. garage has two lights, one that sucks and one that's decent. Um, what else? Oh, the belt sander. Um, I disconnected everything right now, but I have two quarter inch steel plates that I have and I have these two saw horses that I bought from Ross, surprisingly. There's a price tag. 17 bucks for two saw horses. I saw these, I didn't know what they were and I picked it up, opened it and I'm like, oh shit, they're saw horses. Picked them up for 16 bucks. Um, before this, I was using two steel chairs and the steel plates between those two chairs, and I was sitting on another chair, so I was grinding and doing all the stuff real low to the ground because I didn't have a bench. And I didn't want to ruin my parents' uh, table. So, yeah. And it was, it was portable. More, it was a little more portable, so um, what else? I got the. 2x36. I need I need to fix the two, I need to build a 2x20 uh, 2x72 grinder, but this works for right now. I put a electrical tape right here to give it more of a a dome when I'm grinding, so that way the, the tracking works a little better. Even the spring on this is messed up now, almost a year. I got a piece of quarter inch steel O1 that I use for tracking when I track the belts over. I put this behind the while, while the belts stop. I put it behind and make sure it's true quarter inch. So that's always on my side when I'm tracking belts. 
uh, a bunch of cheap clamps that I got from a dollar store. Here's a two inch, three inch, and some tiny one inch clamps. And I even have some big old um, 10 inch clamps that I got from a garage sale that I'm gonna uh, use later on. Uh, I don't know what else to cover. Yeah, these are going to some police, well, my police friend, she's in training to be a police officer and her two friends. So whatever she gets on hers, I'm going to do for the rest because I don't have contact with them. And I think they'll like it if they have them all matching. So I'm not sure if she wants the whole thing fully polished or I can, or I'm going to try to convince her to let me do a two-tone finish on it. Um, I'll explain to her what I'm going to do. Uh, what else? The rag. Pork. Uh, <laughs> Pork rinds and a brine, and brine that I have soap and water in for crunching my blades when I'm grinding. Um, belt in it's almost dead. And yeah, this is where I'm doing most of my work. I usually take this outside, but today it was raining, so I did all the work until like garage. I usually do it in the backyard. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to order a knife for me, I have these and. At least for right now, and I'm planning on making an even smaller version of these that are chisel ground. These are six inches overall. I'll probably make a four inch overall one just because I should see if see they can see it. Because I want a smaller version of these out of eighth inch steel. So I'll probably do that next. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I just got another order for one of these from my friend who is a uh, trained to be a Marine. So this will be kind of, this will be kind of cool stuff. Things starting to pick up finally. Oh, there goes the light again. Um, what else? If y'all have any questions or if you want to order one, if you want me to do any more tutorials, uh, just leave them in the question in the, the comments below, and I'll, I'll see what I can do. Um, and that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.